When HMD Global resurrected Nokia smartphones, a flagship was what everyone had in mind, but instead we got the 3, 5 and 6. Good devices to be sure, but not quite trailblazers. There's no doubt about the fact that enthusiasts and loyalists have been waiting for a new top-end device from Nokia. With the launch of the 8, the company is aiming to deliver just that. So without further ado, here's a closer look at the all-new Nokia 8. A single glance at the device and you can see that it is unmistakably a Nokia phone. Designed in Finland, this symmetry, minimalism and a stylistic chic that is right in line with the rest of the lineup, yet different enough from the competition to stand out. Up front is a 5.3 inch Quad HD IPS LCD panel, below it lies the fingerprint sensor and two capacitive keys flanking it. Unlike the Galaxy S8 or the LG G6, the screen is certainly not bezel-less and further trimmed down edges would have been appreciated. Over on the right is the volume rocker and power button, both of which are sufficiently clicky and offer good feedback. The phone charges over USB Type-C and has a 3.5mm audio jack at the top. Flip the phone over and you'll notice the Series 6000 aluminium back polished to a sheen in some of the variants. Beyond that though, there's the long camera island which has two 13 megapixel cameras, one of them being a monochrome sensor. Below the Zeiss branding lies the dual LED flash and laser autofocus module. In terms of specifications, the phone is powered by a Snapdragon 835 chipset paired with 4GB of RAM. There's 64GB of storage on board that can be expanded via the microSD card slot. The phone will have a dual SIM variant in some markets, in which case the microSD card slot will double up as a second SIM slot. The battery capacity is 3090mAh and the phone supports Quick Charge 3.0. The Nokia 8 runs a clean build of Android 7.1.1 with no extraneous additions and the August security patch pre-installed. The company claims that the 8 will be amongst the first few devices to get the Android O update. Predictably, the phone flies and performance is fantastic. The clean software build certainly aids the flagship hardware in this respect. The company claims that significant work has gone into ensuring proper heat dissipation though we did observe one of the pre-production devices heating up a bit with extended camera use. Talking about the camera, this is one of the key USPs of the device. The company claims that the 8 has been designed ground up for media creators and to this effect, it has added in some interesting tweaks to the camera app. Additionally, the phone includes Nokia's Ozu algorithms for binaural audio encoding. The front and rear cameras have identical camera sensors with differing implementations. The main rear camera includes OIS, while the secondary camera has a monochrome sensor. You can switch between either, but the preferred choice is to let the camera automatically merge data from multiple shots to create the final image. As we mentioned, media creation is a key feature here. HMD has tied up with Facebook and YouTube to enable live streaming directly from the camera app. You can also interact with your Facebook live comments straight from the camera app itself. To this effect, a badly named Bothy or dual site streaming mode has been developed by the company that lets you stream or record from both the front and rear camera simultaneously. The resulting video has both the clips fused together half and half. This could prove to be interesting for creators who would like to do a reaction style video while also capturing the setting. In its own right, the phone focuses on and based on our initial impressions, delivers on the essentials. We like the minimalistic design that fits really well in the hand and the variety of colour options certainly make the phone stand out. Will the company's bet on millennial media creators pay off remains to be seen, but as a flagship device, the company has certainly managed to create a well-rounded and polished phone that can be a great option for someone looking for flagship hardware without Samsung's bloat. The Nokia 8 by HMD Global is priced at €599 Euros and starts shipping in early September in several markets. India availability is expected around early October. So that was our hands-on with the Nokia 8. Got questions? Let us know below. This was Dhruv Bhutani from Phone Arena. Thanks for watching.